Hi, and welcome to the sleep portion of the Healthy You online curriculum from Stanford University. Today, we're going to learn about sleep, why it's important to you, and how you can get the best sleep possible so that you can do well in school and stay healthy. Sleep is something we do every night. We actually sleep quite a lot. Did you know that we spend about one-third of our lives sleeping? For someone who lives the average lifespan in the United States, or about 78 years, that's about 26 years of sleeping. So why do we need to sleep? And what exactly is going on inside of us when we sleep? It might not seem that our brains are doing very much when we're asleep, but they're actually very busy. Sleep allows our brain to reorganize its thoughts, and reinforce and reorganize what we've learned and experienced throughout the day. Sleep is also important for learning and memory. During sleep, our brain embeds things that we learn during the day into memories. If we don't sleep enough, we can experience memory loss. Sleep seems also to help us solve problems. That's where the saying, sleep on it, comes from. Brain activity and other test data from experiments on rats and humans suggest that parts of the brain review and edit experiences from the day. After sleeping, rats were better at navigating a maze. People got better scores on typing tests and on skiing simulations. In fact, subjects who were woken up during light sleep even said that they were dreaming about the game. Have you ever thought of playing sports, music, a video game, or anything else as you fell asleep? This could be your brain trying to help you learn and make memories. Sleep helps our bodies rest and repair themselves too. When we sleep, our muscles relax and our breathing slows down. We can no longer see anything around us, and our ability to hear is reduced. This is why sleeping people can be very hard to wake up sometimes. During sleep, our heart rate slows down, allowing our heart to get a rest. Our intestines slow down too as our digestive muscles rest, so we can have a healthy metabolism the next day. At some points during our sleep, when blood flow to organs like our intestines are reduced, our skeletal muscles receive more blood. The extra blood that goes to our muscles brings more oxygen and more nutrients that the muscles need to repair themselves. When we exercise, we make tiny tears in our muscles that have to be repaired so that we can get stronger. So the more blood that our muscles get, the better that they can repair themselves. A molecule that we produce called growth hormone tells cells in tissues like our bones and muscles to get bigger. It turns out that we produce a lot more growth hormone when we are asleep than we do when we're awake. So the more we sleep, the more our bodies can release growth hormone. So we have to sleep to grow up big and strong. And sleep is therefore just as important as eating healthy food and getting enough exercise. To feel good during the daytime, we need to sleep about 8 to 10 hours per night. So why do we feel sleepy at night and alert during the day? It turns out that there is a sort of biological clock in our brain that tells us when we should feel alert and when we should feel sleepy. It runs on about a 24 hour cycle. Thanks to our brain's ability to release messenger chemicals called neurotransmitters at roughly the same time every day, our body's physical needs are controlled by this biological clock. This clock drives what scientists call a circadian rhythm. Our sleep is a cycle with four main steps or phases which repeat four to five times during our sleep each night. These steps are characterized by different patterns of electrical activities that can be measured using special electrode sensors. This electrical activity can be seen as electrical brain waves in an EEG. The sleep cycle is split into four stages. 
The state is N1, N2, and N3, where N stands for non-REM, and the final stage is called REM, or rapid eye movement sleep. The amount of time that we spend in each stage varies as we age, but here are some approximations. We spend about 5% of our sleeping time in N1, which is the start of light sleep. This happens for a few minutes after we fall asleep, and this is the stage that your sleep-deprived friend, dozing off in class, is probably in. N2, which we spend about 45% of our sleep in, is still moderately light and not hard to be woken up from. N3, which we spend about 25% of our sleep in, is considered to be the start of deep sleep. If we are woken up from N3, we feel especially tired. Lastly, we spend the last 25% of our sleep in REM, which is called rapid eye movement because our eyes actually move under our eyelids as we sleep. Most of the dreams that we remember are from this stage. Brain wave patterns are different for each stage, and the graphs of brain's electrical activity are called EEG. Each graph is a measurement of the electrical activity of different parts of the brain at different times.